All right, how's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So this is our throne room. We have just become Baron, and I haven't done anything yet aside from meet with uh, Tristan and Jod about a curse. So let's take a look at our kingdom and get things set up. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So we need to sign advisors first. So for Regent, I was going to pick Octavia. There we go. Oh yeah, good. Uh, Counselor, Tristian is the only choice, so de facto Counselor. All right. General, now oh, we've got lots of variety here. Ragongar, Amiri, Kassil, and I know I was pronouncing his name Kessel. <laughs> or Castle, or I don't know what it was. Getting mixed up with characters now. So yeah, Kassil. Um, I like that he always strives to help those in need, but I'm going to wait a little bit before completely trusting him, because I know Jamandi, he's sent by Jamandi. So you, you know, be nearby. It's not that I don't want to, but... And between these two, I'm going to pick Amiri, because at least she's, you know, not evil. <laughs> but... You know, her being general, I just imagine the second, you know, there's a threat, she's just going to, with me, and tear off, and <laughs> just, I don't know, I, I guess I kind of envision a military leader needing a little bit more discipline, we'll say, organization, I don't know. <laughs> and Mary, you're a general for now, anyways. Treasurer, there's no one. And High Priest. <laughs> I know Eeyore has a higher bonus, but I, I can't. I can't. Jod! Welcome. <laughs> you will be our High Priest. And he's he's um, High Priest of a Rastal, and our character kind of follows a Rastal, so... That works. Alright, uh, what do we got here? Projects. Research into the nature of curses. Okay. Trade agreement with Saratova. Oh, we have no... That's... Uh, where Actually... Oh, there it is. BP. Yeah. That's way more than we've got. Uh, Van... Vanky's offer? Oh. High Priest of Rastel. Rastov has a strong interest in spreading Stag God's faith in the region. He's eager to build a shrine. Huh. But at his own expense. Okay. Uh, Jod. Okay. I'll keep that in mind, because I think... Yeah, there's a few others. Oh, Miri would do that one. Oh, wait, pillage. No, we're not going to pillage the town of... Uh, the Temple of the Elk. Uh, rebuild it. Yeah, Jod would be earmarked for that, potentially. Oh, 100 BP. 60 days. Hmm. I have to wait a little bit. I'm sure we're going to need... 45 days to solve. I think they said it was another month or so before that one will come up. Okay, so we might do that one. And the only other thing is claim the outskirts, which I don't really, like, it doesn't cost too much and and whatnot, but let's, let's get our own land established before we start expanding. Uh, yeah, it was under curses. So I think we will have Jod start this one. Yeah. Start project. Okay. Was there anything under other? And this one, that one required Jod. Yeah, so that one we'll have to wait a little bit. But uh, hopefully that's okay. Oh yeah. Right, Tustdale, yep. Let's rename it. Haven. That's what I wanted to name our capital. There we go. And we need to go through and build things. Okay, so here we are. So there's our stats, which is all zeros, because we don't have anything. Build! Okay... I'm going to have a look through this, because this is 
more complicated. I remember the pen and paper version. There was wasn't just a matter of slapping down what you wanted. There was there was tricks to it and stuff. So I'm gonna have a look through this, and I'll bring you back in when I've got a a feel for it and I know kind of where I want to place things. Because I don't imagine it's gonna be too too interesting. Okay, so a few things kind of jump out. Um, the longhouse is needed for a lot of things. A lot of these other buildings, uh, like the barracks, get a plus one to stability when adjacent to a longhouse. There's a lot of things that want to be adjacent to the longhouse. So let's put that in the middle. Yay! Add the outskirts. We're not going to do add the outskirts yet. I don't know. Like I said, consolidate our <laughs> where we own first and then expand. Just seems like a better idea. And, okay, and there's also a few other spots here, like piers. That's the only thing that can go in the water spot, so let's do that. Um, and let's build around here next. So a tavern is a... I know we've already got a tavern in our capital, but for some reason we can build a tavern. So I don't, I don't know if this is a second tavern, but... There we go. <laughs> tavern... Because that's a very D&D staple. We need some place to meet uh, strangers and get quests from. Um, and that's the tavern. Okay, let's get a shop going. Because that'll boost our economy. As well as, you know, any fledgling area will need a shop. So people can buy things. Same thing with a smithy. Put that down. And took a look around. We are also going to get... A shrine and put it over here and let's see what was the other one herbalist house yep so just potions and healers that kind of thing that seems good to me put that in there because that uh, the herbalist where is it herbalist gets a bonus uh, plus one arcane being adjacent to a shrine I won't go through all these, this isn't really a, you know, complete walkthrough, but I'll probably talk about a little bit of them. Um, I want to put a monument in here, but I'm guessing I'm going to run low on BP. So we'll leave it for now. We'll do a few other things like the granary, slap it down there, and then the brewery. Yeah, it needs to be adjacent to a tavern. So there we go. Brewery, tavern, granary, and then up in that spot... Way up there, we should have enough for a windmill. And we'll do that. There we go. And we've got just enough for wooden walls, and that just seems appropriate, so let's let's do that. There we go, we got 100 BP left. Stats, once these are all built, we'll boost up, and then once we've gained a bit more money, we'll build the monument. But for now we'll we'll save a little bit. Okay. Nice. All right, let's head back to the throne room. And we need to rest. So let's, um, yeah, this is our, this is our bedroom back behind the throne. Now let's go to sleep, wake up refreshed. There doesn't seem to be anything but a bed in this room, so I don't know if, you know, be talking to people, entertaining guests eventually, or if this is just a big empty room. Hmm. Okay. So that's one day's past. Okay, there's no exclamation mark, so I don't think anything has changed there. So yeah, let's head out. And actually, I did notice. I thought every everyone here was just kind of people you would expect. There's Keston, Kassiel, Tavia, Miri. I thought I saw Lindsay here. Yeah, there she is. She's hiding <laughs> behind the table or behind a candle. <laughs> but this guy over here, storyteller. Let's go talk to him and see what his deal is. Old man seems to be completely blind. Okay, this is, must be the guy that um, Keston was telling us about. Stares past you with unseeing eyes. Ah, who was there? Is that you, Your Grace? 
Who are you, and how did you get into my throne room with the guards just being completely okay with this? I'm an elf from Coinion. My name is not important. I am the storyteller, collector of stories. I collect unknown legends of ancient times. Long ago, when I was a smith in Coinion, the fire of the forge had burned out my eyes. But I am grateful for it. For if I could see, I would yet forge suits of armor for Idara's guards. Instead, I have stepped on the path of an adventurer and the gatherer of ancient legends. Many peoples are long dead, their homes crumbled to dust, and their bodies turned to ash. Only legends can still tell us of their triumphs and defeats, their joys and fears. I would be so interested to hear the stories told about us after our demise. I have always been drawn to the stolen lands, where countless expeditions, armies, and even kingdoms have met their untimely ends. When I learned of a new barony being founded in the heart of these lands, I knew I wanted to be part of its story, so I made my journey here. Okay, well, I don't really want to go through all of this right now. I don't know if I... I just met him. I don't know if he want him part of the court. Let's... Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, sure. All right. Would you care to trade stories with me? I am a collector, not a trader. If I share a story with you, you receive the power to pass it further, changing or embellishing it, whether willingly or not. Can I be certain you will keep my stories intact with their absolute purity? No, I do not think so, at least not yet. These legends are the most precious valuables in the world, the last remnants of ancient tribes. They are beacons illuminating the, the way to the past, allowing us to meet generations long gone. I cannot let their light fade. The path to the past must not be lost. But I can offer you a deal, Your Grace. If you find some items belonging to Era's past, bring them to me. If I recognize the stories hidden in these items, I will gladly share them with you. If you find all the pieces of any ancient artifacts, I can even recall my, my smithing skills to unite them and restore their power. Cool. Alright. Well, I'll leave you to your legends till we meet again. All right, I'll probably figure him out a little bit or talk more with him between episodes. <laughs> Come on, Kitty, we're leaving. All right, here's the town. Oh, there's a male maypole already. Oh, and everyone's just scattered around. Cool. All right, well, I think we'll go out and do some adventuring. We've done a lot of talking the last, last couple of episodes. That's just kind of in the middle, all right. Let's go, well, let's figure our way around. Um, come on, kitty, hurry up. Uh, well, maybe we should go to the trader and see what's, uh... Yeah, we were introduced to him, so I'm guessing he's kind of the new, um, Oleg. <laughs> Asa from Absalon is is happy to welcome you, Your Grace. Come take a look at the best wares we traveling merchants have to offer. Come, please, take a look. All right, let's see what you have. Okay, some plus two weapons, nice. Flaming bastard sword, a named rapier, cool. Flame guard. I might run around here and, and buy some things. Huh. Yeah, I might. Alright, so I picked up a couple of things. Um, I picked up a lesser phylactery of positive channeling for Tristian, because uh, he's going to be very uh, channel based in terms of uh, that's going to be a good use for him. This is going to give him a plus 1d6 on those, and I also gave him Harem's Masterwork Light Crossbow, because I couldn't find anyone to sell one. And I don't want Tristian in the front line with his scimitar. <laughs> He's got an AC of 11. He can't wear armor. 
he's got a strength of minus one. This is kind of just, yay, I've got a scimitar, look at me go. It's just a toy for him, really. <laughs> you need to be in the back. And I also got Valerie. Where is it here? There we go. Uh, Flame Guard Tower Shield. So it's going to grant her plus three resistance bonus to reflex and fire resistance 10, as well as another one AC. So now she's up to 31, so not too bad. The um, the uh, resistance bonus does uh, conflict a little bit with her cloak, but the cloak will give her a plus one on her wisdom and fortitude as well, and this one will just be the dominant one on reflex. Well, that's fine. Okay. Well, I think we're going to head out and explore the land. Hello, oh. my savior. You asked if we'd meet again, and here I am. And here you are. I see your fate has changed since last we met. Now you are the ruler who will determine the destiny of these lands. I am their living heart, the whisper of the wind, the strength of rivers, the luxuriant growth of the meadows. Do you wish to touch this power? Um, it's getting oddly sex roll, I think. Um. I will show you a place where we can finally meet in flesh, you and I. Deep in the woods, there is an old mossy ruins long abandoned, nearly swallowed by the thicket. There is an old tree growing among the stones in the yard, which I remember as a seed. A shadow under its green crown I call my verdant chambers. Visit me there, my lord. And come alone. Hmm. A nymph's reward awaits you. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, I wish to ask you something. Forgive me. Nymphs are not made for cities. Fair. The noise and vanity of human settlements vex me. I will answer all your questions. But there, in the silence of my asylum. Hmm. Well, really, I, I don't need any reward. Seeing you is the best reward for me. Glad you're doing well. <laughs> then come to my chamber and be my guest. We'll share stories and laughter. Imagine the future. And dream. So long. I will await you there. As the ground waits for spring under the heavy winter snow. Okay. Oh. New mission, I guess. Alright, well, we're heading out uh, to the overworld anyway, so I guess we can see exactly where that is. There's the exit. And we are gonna take. Oops, I'm gonna take Tristian with us this time. There we go. And see if we can replace him with old ER here. See how well he does. Oh, there's an exclamation. Oh, well, looks like we're okay. New events. You visit this location. Oh, I think we're okay. I think we resolved anything. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Let's head out. Just gonna quick save, just in case we find something <laughs> not too friendly too quickly. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. I read that um, we have to visit these things in order to claim them. So actually, yeah, let's head back and see if we can get to this one. I think as long as this is here... Oh, now this one's got an exclamation point. Okay, let's go take a look. No, oh, there is a new event. Okay. Traveler awaits at the castle. Distant traveler... A traveler from a distant land has requested an audience. Yeah, we actually have to go there. Alright. Well, give us a second. <laughs> Let's head over here, claim this one. Yeah, we can claim this one. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to leave an extra bit of BP. We've got the high ground. Huzzah! Alright, let's head back to Haven. And we'll go see who this traveler is. Oh, 
Oh, there she is, or there he is, or she. Okay. Greetings to the ruler of these lands. My name is Kasi. I come from the lands of Kadira. A special wind, the wind of opportunity and hidden treasure, has brought me to these lands. And without all the polite words, here's what I want to say. I know the location of an ancient treasury, and I'm asking for the Baron's help to reach it and share the loot. Okay, well, what kind of treasury is it? The remains of an ancient Talden settlement, destroyed long ago by the forces of nature. My friends came across an ancient chronicle that referred to the settlement and managed to locate the ruins. But they couldn't get inside, being too, too afraid. These lands are dangerous. Uh, why didn't you just go there yourself, then? My friends who visited the place said it's filled with monsters and wild animals. I shouldn't like going there all alone. Besides, would it be wrong not to tell the ruler of a treasure found in his lands? Fair enough. Uh, no, I'm gonna... We're the chaotic ruler and adventurer. We're not gonna discuss dividing up the loot. We'll leave that to the lawful types. Great! I like adventure! <laughs> in that case, I shall... I will take my leave and prepare for the expedition. I've already rented a house in your wonderful city. Wow. We have houses for rent already? I thought there was like one or two already. That's all we had. Oh well, sure. The Baron is welcome to visit me anytime when you are ready to discuss our plans. Alright. Probably Sorrow Flow. Yeah, okay, so this is from the Wild Cards DLC, so I'm probably not going to do it right away. Because it's not main storyline. And we did that success. Oh, and we got plus one arcane for that. Cool. Alright. Okay. So yeah, we're not going to do that right away. We'll get to that at some point. Let's um, keep exploring. And keep planning some of these... Um, these blue items for our lands. Yeah, we'll keep the same party. Let's head out. Alright, so we've claimed that one, and it looks like there's a little post or something beside it now. Let's head up to this one. Should just take three hours to get there. Here we are. Claim that one. So we can probably... Get up to these two. Um, yeah, let's just get that done. It's probably fastest to get to this one. Let's head out. Nope, won't let me auto run. Okay, fine. And there we go. Okay, yeah, we still have a little bit of claim. We got a little bit of resources left. Oh yeah, we found that one up there. Um, I think this one's closer. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe let's head over here. Uh, nine hours. Yeah, everyone's getting fatigued. Let's rest first. Actually, just looking at this, that's probably part of the outskirts. So, and looking at the time, maybe we should head back to Haven. Oh yeah, now we've got another... Who knows, maybe something's new events. I want to get something done. <laughs> oh well. We'll head back. Probably the responsible thing to do for our new kingdom. Okay, well, we're supposed to be back on the first day of the month, and we are, but there's nothing new. Alright. I guess, um, 41 days. Yeah, so he's been working on that. Good. Okay. Thought I'd check. So when I was looking at the map, I did notice that our lands include all of the tusk water on both sides, but it kind of Hugs the shoreline, so let's let's keep heading back down this way. See what we can find. You know what? Let's let's visit here. See what this is. Okay. All right. Let's run forward a little bit and see what we can find. 
Oh, there's always some treasure that's over here. Metal shard of a ring. Okay. Maybe that's... Oh, well, let's pick up the treasure along the way. Well, there's probably something here. Herbs. Oh, no, gems. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, let's keep... Let's keep going. Oh, ferocious rope. Alpha wolf. Wow. Wargs. All right. Well, Tristian... You've got... Oh, I haven't gone through and sorted out your spells right. Okay, well, let's do this. Fireball. Should be able to just target an area within the spell's range. And we'll just have everyone hold. Yeah, just hold for a second, guys. Actually, Valerie, you can come forward. <laughs> and same with Amiri. Um, hmm. Yeah, you're casting Fireball there, but no one's there anymore. Can I move that? Ah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, just outside them. There we go. That should work. And boom. Did that hit us? A little bit. <laughs> But it looks like it was pretty effective, so we'll we'll just deal. Is that the no ferocious wolf? Looks like we already got the ward. Awesome. Is that still no? Okay, it was red for a second. I wasn't sure if it was still still up. All right, good. That was pretty useful. Maybe a little excessive, but that's okay. <laughs> Always fun to try out a new spell, especially when it's fireball. Does anyone... No? Okay. Well, that's interesting that they were set up right here. This bridge looks pretty sturdy. Pretty damaged, but still pretty sturdy. And look at the ruins. wonder if this is dwarven made or something. Explain why it's sturdy as all get out. Oh, we missed some treasure back there. And some treasure down here. Oh, probably just some uh, herbs or something. Who's getting it? Lindsay, alright. Oh no, again. A magic cloak. Wow. Nice. What is that? Cloak of the Winter Wolf. Whenever the, whenever the wear this cloak makes a successful bite attack. Huh. That's cool, but we don't have anyone that does bite attacks. Not even Amiri. Not to say that we couldn't. Well, is that the... Almost the end. Let's actually go back and just make sure we find the exit, if there is an exit down here. Follow my lead. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Not quite a bit of area to cover. Oh, did we lose our um our pet? Aw. That's too bad. In due time. Need to level up, gain another feat, so that um give my uh pet some Oh, what's this? More wolves. Okay. That is not far. Well, I can't really um Valerie, why are you in the back? Did these get changed again? Oh man, they did. Ah, <laughs> uh, here, let me reset this. Okay, can you reach? No, not from back there. Yeah, let's just move up a little bit. There we go. We should be able to charge in on that alpha wolf now, and then Time's let's not waiting. get in there. Tear them apart! Anything is possible. I won't let you down. Um, hard to see. If they're just wolves and whatnot, we don't need to something bothering you? buff up too much. And yeah, Tristian has a selective channel, 
which is awesome. Oh, there's a few more than I thought. Okay. <laughs> let's, um... Oh yeah, we got that. Uh, yeah, let's rage. And let's start casting stuff on a few of these. There's a warg, yeah. Let's do that. And same thing. There we go. Okay. Oh dear. We're getting surrounded. There we go. Hit it. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more to that one. Magic missile. Ah, knocked down. There we go, got the warg. Got a few more. This won't kill me. Uh, okay. Survive. I oh, she's already at negative hit points. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. It's a little worse than I thought it'd be. Well, let's, uh, oh yeah. That's right. Channel. Keep forgetting that uh, Harem couldn't have uh, channel, so... I kind of forgot about it. Okay, now that you're up... Go. Give you some more temporary hit points. Boom. There we go. The Alpha Wolf is done. Now it's just the Ferocious Wolves, and that's done in the next instant. Alright. Wow, that was Confided me. a little bit more intense. Oh, yeah. Blessing of the Faithful. Yeah, that's one of his um, uh, special cleric abilities. It's a non-standard. He's a non-standard cleric, and that's one of his special abilities. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just get you to channel. And heal everyone up that way. Um, actually, we can do this. Actually, no. We're going to channel one more time. There we go. Once more. And then we're going to give it to Thervold. There we go. Okay. That should be good. Wait, we need to loot. Don't go too far. <laughs> All right, more pelts and stuff. Oh, I thought that was leftovers or something. Oh, more treasure down here. Don't. These little treasure spots have been really good on this map. Okay, so that's the first one that was kind of mediocre. <laughs> All right, just looking at the time, we're gonna have to leave it here. But getting into a little bit more fun again, a little bit more adventuring. Alright, thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.